Chapter 10 of Just Stories, The Kind That Never Grow Old by Renfred Hurst, S.D.S. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. The Little Saint in Holy Mass Who is that beautiful boy that now watches the sheep for Felix when he goes to Mass? The neighbors asked each other in astonishment. They were surprised and mystified, and well they might have been, but I must tell you why. St. Felix de Cantalusia, when still a boy of only twelve years, went to confession and Holy Communion very, very often. Moreover, he tried hard to go to Holy Mass every day. Of course, he knew that, first of all, we must do what we must do, and that we should not even go to daily Mass at the cost of neglecting serious duty. God wants us ever to do our duty. But where there's a will, there's a way, and Felix made it a point to find a way, whenever it was a question of assisting at the adorable sacrifice. God was pleased with his good will, with his love for the Mass. And he was more pleased still when the saint, in perfect confidence, would say, Heavenly Father, I leave my flock under your care, while I go to get the choice blessings which those receive who are present at the holy sacrifice. Indeed, so pleased was our Father, who is in heaven, at the loving trust reposed in him by this saintly boy, that he would sometimes send an angel to watch the sheep, while Felix was in the chapel hearing Mass. And that was the beautiful boy of whom the neighbors spoke in wonder. It was an angel. When they understood that God was showing his appreciation in that miraculous manner, they began to look upon Felix with reverential awe. They began to realize better what a great thing the devout hearing of Mass must be, and they began to imitate the pious shepherd boy. Yes, this little story teaches us a big lesson, doesn't it? Oh, if we would but remember that in Holy Mass we offer God infinite adoration, infinite thanksgiving, infinite reparation. If we would but remember that year in we can most surely obtain all graces and blessings for ourselves, for our dear ones living and dead, for the poor souls in purgatory, then we would not be so very, very careless, then we would never stay away just because we didn't feel like going. Then, too, we would give to others the salutary example of a living faith. End of chapter 10